what's up guys so yesterday i went to sephora you know i had gift cards from christmas that i hadn't spent so i was like you know what i'm gonna go spoil myself so i went to sephora and did it i didn't get that much stuff it was actually just stuff i needed there was probably like two things that i just bought just because i liked it so let me show you guys what i got so first i got um this urban decay all nighter spray I used this one before, but then um, I wanted to try something different, so I tried the Marc Jacobs one. But I didn't really like this one. I don't know if like my sprayer thing was broken or what, but I feel like you know when someone like washes, like when you wash your hands and you still have water, it's kind of they're kind of like the water's dripping, and someone just goes like this to your face. I felt like that's what it felt like when you sprayed this. So I didn't like the feel of that, so I used it anyway. But I was like, I'm almost done with that one. So I was like, I'm going back to the one I fuck with. And then I got the Laura Mercier just translucent powder. I was in need of a new one. So I just bought that. I bought this Huda Beauty. Oh, it's like an eyeshadow, I think. At first, I didn't know what it was. I just like, I saw the tester. So I tried it and I was like, I'm buying this. I don't even know what it is, but I'm buying it. But it's like so pretty. So the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows in Lime Light. So this is what it looks like. And let me show you guys the color. I just fell in love with the colors. I was like, that lime green just sold me. I was like, I'm buying this. And then that's just like a pretty shimmer. It's like a metallic. So yeah, I'm, I mainly bought it for the green, but I like that too. So that's that. Then I bought this um, Kat Von D 24 Hour Super Brow and um, in white out, and this is just for your brows. Um, but I bought it because I need to use it for the look I'm gonna do today. So yeah, it's just like a white pomade. Okay, and finally I just bought the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is my all-time favorite liner. Okay, so that was all I bought. So let's move on to the makeup look. So for today, I wanted to do something that matches the shirt. This is the shirt. This is the Yours Truly clothing shirt from Fora. And I just love this shirt. It says Sinner. And then I just love the print on it. And then my necklace, of course, that says Sinner. I fuck with this a lot. So yeah, I just wanted to do a makeup look that kind of went with the shirt. And I know what I, ha I have something in mind. So let me start. Okay, so I know like my eyebrows look hella irritated, like hella red. I just got them done like just now. After work, I was like, I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done because they needed some, they needed some work. So yeah, they came out um, perfect as fuck. But I don't know if I'm just a pussy, but threading hurts like a bitch. Like that hurts hella bad. Like I can seriously feel my eye like one like every time. But yeah, I love it. The paint is worth it because I just love how they come out. Okay, so let me start with my brows. My favorite thing is doing my brows. Like once I got them, like after I got them done, like I just love doing my brows because they're just so clean. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my, this is the Bushy Brow Precision Pen from Lime Crime. And this is in the shade Smoky. And this is just like a felt tip eyebrow pen. So. I like this because I can do like here like strokes like this and it's super soft and just glides so nicely. So I'm listening to Feels by Kehlani and I just love this song. Like my friends were talking about how her album was so good so I was like you know what like I want to listen to I'm going to listen to it. I had heard like her old songs before, but I just like never kept up with her music. So, so yeah, I was like, let me listen to it because you know they saying it's hella good, and yeah, it is really good, and I just love this song so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to my brows. So when I do my brows, I'm not really like, I just do them like really messy. Like I don't even care how they come out because then. I clean them up and then just go over it so like I just fill them in you know 
and then I go with the concealer, um, clean them up, and then go back and just like fix them up if they need to. And then the concealer also helps me as my guidelines. So like once I clean it up, I can see where I need to fix, like fill in. So obviously like right there is where I need to fill in. After I go back and like out here, you know, fill it in a little more, a little darker. So that's why I just like fill them in really quick, clean it up and then go back and just um, fix them. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with the Anastasia Browers just to fill that back in, just so I can make it a little darker. And then I go back with my concealer brush and make that a little sharper. And the eyebrows are almost done. I'm just gonna put um, clear gel over it. This is the Anastasia Anastasia um, clear brow gel, and I love this one. This one works really good. If you guys are looking for one, this is it. Mm, damn. Okay, moving on to the eyes. Okay, so my eyes are ready to go. Now for the fun part, get dive into the colors. So. I'm gonna use my Morphe palette. This is 35C. And I'm gonna use this coral one first. And I'm just gonna bring it um, all the way over here because I'm gonna do a uh, cut crease. And then I'm gonna bring it um, a little far into the inner corner. Well, kind of like all the way into the inner corner. Next, I'm gonna go in with um, this bright orange right here. Okay, now switching palettes, I'm gonna go in with the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette. And I'm gonna use the orange in here. There you go. I've been listening to Kehlani's album for like the past two days. My friends are right. It's good as fuck. So now to cut the crease. And for my cut crease, I'm using the Tarte Tape Shape. This is in light sand. And I'm just using a flat brush. And I always used to struggle with cut creases. Like I could just like never get it like clean and perfect. But when I worked at Sephora, my coworker, my coworker told me about this little trick, and it really like changed my life. So you guys have probably know this trick, but if you don't, here it is. So she told me just to put the concealer on your eyelid and then look up, and that should give you an idea of where to cut your crease. Okay, so my cut crease is done. I just did the other eye and then just set my set the concealer. And now moving on to the eyeliner. So for my eyeliner, I'm gonna do a checkered liner. I thought it'd just look fucking sick with this outfit I got going on. Okay, so to start off my checkered liner, I'm just gonna grab um, this is the Essence eyeliner pen. And I think it's pretty dried out. Like, it's hella dried out. So I'm just gonna make an outline. Okay, so this doesn't have to be perfect. Because we're gonna fill it in. So I just do my wing liner pretty thick and then I just draw a line down the middle. Okay, and then I'm just gonna draw lines, like vertical lines. Oh yeah. This pen sucks. I know I said I don't like these, but 
for these lines I'm using this because the brush is really thin. Um, these are the Star Pro nail, nail art brush set. And look at the, it's so pretty, like the little print on the brushes. So I just bought these because I need like um, some thin brushes so I can like fill in the little squares. Oh, he's gonna be a bitch to take out. Okay, so I'm gonna use this brush first. It's like super thin. And I'm gonna start with the white. Um, gel pomade. I'm just gonna add a little to the brush. And fill in. And I did make the mistake before of starting with a full white base or a full black base and then going in with the opposite color over it and that just did not work out. It's messy, it's sloppy. It doesn't look as clean as if you were just to do this outline and then fill it in. I need them here close as fuck. I need like all the focus in the world right now. So the white is done and then I'm just gonna go with the black and I'm gonna use a tattoo liner to go in with that black and just fill in the rest. This takes time, dude. Like now I need to go back on the white and just Fix it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm finally done with the eyeliner. It took like fucking days. I had to stop the video because it was just taking too long. Okay, so I'm just gonna add eyeliner and this is the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner. So I'm just gonna put that up here. Just so my lashes can kind of like blend in. I fucked it up. Okay, so I have my lashes on now, and these are the Coco Lashes and Amore. And I'm just gonna move on to my face. Why does my face look like a totally different color? Oh god, it does not look like this in person. I think it's like the lighting or something. But it looks fucking crazy. I look like yellow. I'm like using the wrong side of the brush. And finally for the lips, this Kat Von D and this one is in Dreamer.
Okay. On to with the look. What y'all think? I wish I was going out tonight because I just want to show this off. Anyway, so two days ago, my mom was like, hey, we got leche. Like, we need milk. So I was like, all right. So I went to the little store, like, next to her house. And yeah, I got there and I just walked in like, mm, I'm just going to get milk. But when I walked in, I saw something. I saw these bandanas. And I was like, hold up. So I was like, for sure I'm getting this one. Because I just love camel print. And then I love the uh, colors on this. So I was like, I'm getting this. And then I peeked this one. And I was like, definitely getting you two. So I was like, no questions asked, just got both. And I think I want to do like a makeup look for each one, you know? I definitely want to do one for this. I can do like a fake ass one with this. Anyway, so yeah, I like bought those and then bought the milk and I was leaving and I was going to my car. And I was like, okay. And I have like a smallest purse, so I couldn't fit these in there. So I was like, okay, I need to put these somewhere because if I show up to the house with this, my mom's gonna be like, why the fuck you have like a bandana with weed leaves on it, you know? So I was like, where can I put it? And I was wearing a scarf, so I was like, oh shit, I'm just gonna put it on my shirt because the scarf will the scarf will cover it so i was like going like this like putting it in my shirt and it was in so then i was like all right time to dip and i was as i was like reversing i like turned and there was a guy like a car next to me with a guy inside and he was just staring at me i was like <laughs> hella dipped i was like fuck he probably thought i was like stuffing my brawl or something but he was hella staring like what the fuck is this bitch doing but yeah i was like mm. And just like hella dipped but yeah that was just like a little story i wanted to tell you guys all right guys this is the end of this video i'll see you guys next time oh yeah Everybody switch, but you stuck around. Running back, I'm still attached. I'll do anything just to get it back. Trying to numb the pain with these drugs.